Blackout was for sure one of the more anticipated modes that was going to be coming to Black Ops 4 during its release. And seeing as how multiplayer and zombies basically have their formula set in stone, it was going to be interesting to see how Treyarch Studios was going to handle creating a Battle Royale game mode for the first time in the Call of Duty franchise with its specific feel and style of gameplay. And it's safe to say that Blackout is a resounding success. It's a ton of fun and I see myself coming back to it almost every day. But, just like Fortnite and PUBG, Blackout has a lot of issues that should probably be looked into sooner than later. Today we're going to be talking about some of those issues, starting off with some lower tier ones, stuff that really doesn't matter, but is stuff that I think should be added or changed just to make the experience a little bit better. Later on in the list we're going to be talking about some more major things, things that I think need to be looked into by Treyarch almost immediately. So let's get right into it. First off we're going to talk about customization. Customization is a huge part of every Call of Duty game in the past few years. Even in multiplayer and zombies, you're able to customize your weapon, your loadout, camos, your characters with different gestures, tags, or even their face paints or outfits if you have them unlocked. And the same thing almost goes for Blackout. You can customize your characters depending on who you have unlocked and equip the same thing of different face paints or outfits, gestures, and tags and whatnot, but the one thing that the mode is missing is camos on your weapons. PUBG already has this implemented where if you unlock a camo for a weapon, you can equip it in the menu and then when you pick up that weapon in game, your camo will be visible. I think that's something that Treyarch Studios could add into Blackout just to add a more little layer of customization. Now weapon camos are definitely not a necessity for this game mode, but again it's something that I would just like to see. I have unlocked a lot of different camos and gold or diamond for many things in multiplayer and seeing those transfer over to Blackout would be really cool. They could also add some extra camos for just getting a certain amount of kills or headshots with these weapons specifically in Blackout and get you some different camos and just more ways to personalize your weapons. It's not something major, but something again that I would like to see implemented in the future. The next thing we're going to be talking about is lobby lag. Now this seems to happen to me more so in solos than it does duos or squads, but it's still a problem that needs to be looked into. Currently when you're in a blackout lobby, before you even search for a game, you can go through the menus and do whatever you want in terms of customization with ease. But as soon as you start queuing up for a game, the game basically takes a shit on you. It just moves really slow, moving the cursor, there's a lot of freeze frames, a lot of missing frames, stuff like that. Little things that are just making navigating the menu when you're searching for a blackout game just a little bit more difficult. It's not completely breaking the game, but it does make it very difficult to kind of look at what you want to look through. If you want to see what challenges you are close to, customize your characters, it's just going to take a little bit longer for you to do when you're searching for a game. And it's something that I think the studio needs to look into because as it stands right now, as soon as I start searching for a game, I'm not really going to customize anything because the odds of me getting there in time without my cursor being all wonky is very slim. The next thing we're going to talk about is weapon balancing. Now I don't have any specific things I'm going to be talking about at this. I think some of the weapons do need to be a little bit more balanced. As it stands right now, the ABR is probably the most versatile weapon in all of Blackout. I will never not pick up an ABR, and especially if I put a sniper scope on that thing, I'm pretty much guaranteed to go towards the final circle. The ABR is a very dominant weapon, but a lot of the assault rifles are also really good. So, if you basically pick up an assault rifle, you will win a lot of engagements. SMGs are kind of so-so, the Spitfire is really good at close range, but all the other SMGs are kind of just iffy. They're not really amazing at close range, and once you get towards the longer range engagements, there's almost no point in using an SMG. I think that weapon balancing could be looked into a little bit more. Like I said, I don't have any specific requests besides possibly nerf the ABR a little bit. While I do love the gun, it's just really dominant right now, and there's not too much you can do to counteract it. Next thing we're going to be talking about is the merits. Now, the merit system is really unique to Call of Duty, because as opposed to just getting XP for going through a match or getting kills or whatever you get merits so you'll get a specific amount for the longer you survive if you get in the top 15 in solos if you win a game completing challenges and killing enemies but i feel like there's a couple more ways that we can earn some more merits in game as it stands right now if you make it through 50 people you're in the last 50 people alive and you die without getting a kill you're not going to get any merits unless you've completed any sort of challenge. I think you should just get a few extra merits the longer you survive. 
I understand the incentive of, oh, well, if you're in solo, placing top 15 will give you another 50 or 100 merits. I think just increasing that a little bit so the further down you get, you'll get some more merits would be really cool. But one thing that I really want to see is if you get merits for downing enemies. There's been a lot of instances where I've been able to down an enemy, but not been able to finish them off. Either they're at a certain range, or there's just more people coming for me, and I'm not able to finish off them in that engagement. I feel like if you got maybe 5 merits or so just for downing an enemy, that would be very beneficial. I've already heard complaints uh, from people I've talked to saying, well that could easily be cheesed to the point where if you and your buddies are able to get into a game, and obviously not in the same squad, that you could just keep downing each other, reviving and downing and reviving, and essentially cheese that. But I feel like the ability to do that and the odds of you being able to get into a random blackout game with people you know is probably be pretty slim. Again, I understand why this wouldn't be implemented, but it is still something that I would like to see in the future. The next thing we're going to talk about is the map. Now as it stands right now, Blackout is a pretty large map, especially for Call of Duty standards. While not as big as a map from PUBG, it is serviceable, but I think there should be a little bit more points of interest in the Blackout map. As it stands right now, I really don't like going to the desert area of the map, and if the final circle's over there, I pretty much dread going there. Besides Turbine and the factory, there's really not too much out there. You have a few small houses, but no major points of interest, and the desert is just so barren that your only cover you have is rocks. While I understand if you're in the normal part of the map where the forest is, your only cover is really trees and rocks, I just feel like the desert's a little bit too bland and there's not so much going on. I feel like adding a few more points of interest, especially in the desert and just from other points in the game where you can have different choke points and whatnot would be a little bit more beneficial. Because as it stands right now, there's not really too many places in Blackout that I love to drop. I go Estates a lot, I'll go Firing Range, and sometimes Nuketown, but other than that, I really don't go to a ton of different places in Blackout. Next thing on the list is going to be looting. Now, looting, at least on console, is pretty much hot garbage. When you kill an enemy, they drop their bag, and that has all of their equipment, guns, perks, ammo, and everything you have in that bag. But as it stands on console, it's pretty difficult to navigate this thing. While there is a consensus as to the order of these items, you'll look at the weapons first, then the attachments, perks, equipment, and then ammo, it's just very hard to navigate on console. I play on Xbox, and clicking X and using the D-pad to scroll around these things in a backpack sometimes doesn't even work. I'll open up the backpack and it won't even let me use the d-pad and I'm not able to scroll through anything without backing out of that, running away from the backpack, and then coming out. It's not a huge thing, but it's definitely very annoying when that happens because there might be some meds in there I need ASAP. And if my d-pad just decides to glitch out and not work, then that's probably going to leave me in a very bad position. I've seen how the looting system is on PC, whereas when you open up their backpack, all their items are displayed on the top of the screen and you're able to click and drag into your inventory. I think that's something that could probably easily be implemented into the console versions, something that would be very beneficial and make looting enemies a lot easier in, for every aspect. Again, using the cursor is, again, easier on PC than it would be on console, but having some sort of a way to see everything that an enemy has in their backpack would be very beneficial for absolutely everybody in the long run. Like I said right now, looting in backpacks is kind of difficult. you got to really be have a keen eye and move through that quickly if it's even going to let you. And the last but not least is going to be sound. As it stands right now, sound is kind of garbage in Blackout. In the previous patches, they have mentioned that sound has been tweaked and fixed a little bit, teammates' footsteps have kind of been quieter, but it doesn't really seem like it's really that big of a change. When I'm walking or a teammate's walking, it pretty much sounds like tactical nukes are going off all around me, and it's really hard to pinpoint if enemy footsteps are even near me. But let's just negate the fact that your footsteps and teammate footsteps are really loud. I understand the fact that realistically everyone's going to have a sound of their footstep, but the worst part of it all is enemy footsteps. Right now, it's pretty hard to tell where an enemy is. There's been a lot of instances where I've been able to hear an enemy, I know there's footsteps, I know someone is near me, but I can't specifically pinpoint where they are. Even with paranoia and whatever other perk helps you hear um, enemy footsteps easier, it's very hard to pinpoint where they are. It feels like the sound is just not as intuitive as it has been in other games, and Call of Duty, especially in a tactical sense, is very much about sound, as all Battle Royale games are as well. Sound is very important. 
And not being able to hear the exact direction someone is if you're using headphones is going to be really difficult. Sometimes it sounds like they're to my left and then to my right, then behind me, in front of me. It just seems to change a lot. And the vertical sound almost seems to be non-existent. There's been many times where I've been on the bottom floor of a building. Someone has been above me, but they sound like they're right next to me. I just think that they could rework sound just a little bit more to make it a little bit easier for everybody to hear. Because as it stands right now, it's very difficult to hear. And there's been a lot of engagements I've been in where I've ended up dying because I just can't tell where they are. The footsteps are so sporadic, they're loud, they're not coming from the same place. Even if it's just one person, it sounds like they're running circles around me. That's just a nitpick that I have. I know a lot of other people have talked about it. I think sound is the definitely biggest thing that Treyarch needs to look into for Blackout. But that's going to basically do it for this video. What do you guys think about Blackout? Is it a game mode you enjoy playing? Something you come back to every day? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.